name is Ilias Loban. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. I sell authentic ancient Greek, Roman, biblical uh, coins and artifacts. Every item you get is guaranteed authentic for a lifetime. I provided with a certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature. My signature, I've identified over 28,000 items. Uh, go, go check my eBay store. I have uh, all these um, coins inside a professional coin flip with a brief description of the item so you can even separate this from the certificate and have it in your wallet or something. And you have a full color picture of the item. A professional description of the item, many times citing a major reference or collection. And on the back, you also, no space is wasted, so I fill it up with the, the, the historical background of the item you purchased. So, great place to buy it. Today, I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Caracalla. Roman Emperor Caracalla became emperor after Roman Emperor Septimius Severus, along with his brother, Geta. This is what Caracalla looked like. Yes, Caracalla, Roman Emperor. He looks mean. Yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, let's start over here. Caracalla was Roman Emperor from 198 to 217. The eldest son of Septimius Severus, for a short time he ruled jointly with his younger brother Geta until he had him murdered in 211. Caracalla is remembered as one of the most notorious and unpleasant emperors because of the massacres and persecutions he authorized and instigated throughout the empire. Caracalla's reign was also notable for granting Roman citizenship to all freemen and women throughout the empire for the purpose of increasing tax revenue. He also uh, was one of the emperors who commissioned a large public bathhouse, Thermae in, Roma, in Rome. The remains of the Baths of Caracalla are still one of the major attractions of the Italian capital. Caracalla, of mixed Punic, Roman, Berber, and Assyrian descent in Lugdunum, Gaul, now Lyon, France, the son of the later em latter emperors of Timius Severus and Julia Domna. At the age of seven, his name was changed to Marcus Aurelius. Uh, Septimius Bassianus Antoninus to create a connection to the family of the philosopher emperor Marcus Aurelius. He was later given the nickname Caracalla, which referred to the Gallic hooded tunic he habitually wore and which he made him fashionable. His father died in 211 at Eboracum, now York, in northern Britain. Caracalla was president and was then proclaimed co emperor with his brother. Publius Septimius Antoninus Geta. Both brothers wanted to, wanted to be sole ruler, thus making relations between them increasingly hostile. When they tried to rule the empire jointly, they actually considered dividing it in halves, but were persuaded not to do so by their mother. Then in December AD 211, at a reconciliation meeting uh, arranged by their mother Julia, Caracalla had Geta assassinated by members of the Praetorian Guard loyal to him. Geta died in his mother's arms. Geta's image was simply removed from all coinage, paintings, statues, leaving a blank space next to Caracalla's. Among those killed were Caracalla's ex-wife, Fulvia Plautila, and her brother and other members of his family, of the family of his former father-in-law. He also devalued the Roman currency. Gibbon describes Caracalla as the common enemy of mankind. He left the capital in AD 213, about a year after the murder of Geta, and spent the rest of his reign in the provinces, particularly those in the east. New and heavy taxes were levied against the bulk of the population, with additional fees and confiscations targeted at the wealthiest families. During his reign as emperor, Caracalla raised the annual pay of an average legionary and lavished many benefits on the army, which he both, which he both feared and admired as instructed by his father Septimius Severus, who had told him on his deathbed to always mind the soldiers and ignore everything else. Legendary history of the kings of Britain makes Caracalla a king of Britain, referring to him by his actual name Bassianus, rather than the nickname Caracalla. While traveling from Edessa to continue the war with Parthia, he, had, he was assassinated while urinating on a roadside near Garhaya on 8th of April AD 217 by Julius Martialis, an officer of his personal bodyguard. 
I have many coins of this Roman Emperor Caracalla in my store, which you can visit through TrustedCoins.com. Visit today. Thank you.